All right, folks, welcome back to Duty's Daggers. We're taking a look at the Wii Solid. This thing is wild. <laughs> it's uh, We're going to review it, and uh, in a, a couple days from, from now, I'm going to be able to do a cut test with this too, so we'll be able to see how it cuts also. Um, but for this video, let's just talk about this thing and uh, kind of get into its features, what it's made out of, how it feels in the hand, all that good stuff. So first, please subscribe to the channel. Look down there, make sure you are. That would be uh, that would be appreciated. Thank you very much, and like the video too. So this is made by Wee Knives in collaboration with um, Trichini, I think is how you say it. Um, he is basically uh, he no he's he's a knife designer and came up with this. Uh, uh, flipper deal. It's a flipper on a spring, um, which is kind of one of the really cool features of the knife. Um, this is a, kind of a more special version. You can see we had like this almost, uh, I don't even know what you would really call that, but there's, um, it's almost like camo-ish. There's parts of this surface of the titanium that are actually kind of etched down lower than others. Um, it's a really, really cool look. It's on the blade too. Um, really cool looking. I mean, this thing is really, really stunning. Full titanium frame. It's an integral, meaning this is all, this handle is all one piece. Which is very cool. I've actually never even handled an integral before, so this is pretty cool for me. It's, uh, you know, there's not a big difference in feeling. I th I'd say it's a little more ergonomic because there's no gap back here. You know, where you're kind of back here, where your hand rests against the back of the knife. Um, it's just completely smooth, you know. There's no gap there to ha cause any kind of a ergonomic hot spot. Um, it's a big knife. Let's do some quick size comparisons so you can get an idea of it. Here's the Shaman. Bigger than the Shaman. XM18. Bigger than the XM18. It's big, man. Let's do the Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. Ontario Rat 2. Yeah, it's big. It's a big boy. Blade length. Um, like three and seven eighths of an inch. Cutting edge is about three and a half. Handle, about five inches. Uh, yeah, about five inches even. Gosh, <laughs> I don't even know where to start, man. This is a weird knife. Um, you know, aesthetically, I don't know. Um, it, you know, okay, let me let me say this. When the knife first came out, when I first saw a photo of it and saw that it had this, you know, um, GTC uh, springy flipper tab thing, or SLT, I mean, um, I wanted it. I wanted this knife when I saw it. Um, and then when I got it in hand, yeah, this is not mine, by the way, this is lent to me, uh, by a friend of the channel. Um, I realized that I actually did, probably wouldn't buy it. Um, now, there's a couple reasons for that. I think it's a little big for me. I wish it was a, a smaller knife. This is wide. This is a very wide handle. Um. And ergonomically, it works because it, it just fills out your hand really nicely. Um, it's just a, it's very wide, and it's just, it's overall big. Number two, this is not really a super good EDC knife or a user. This is more of <clears throat> just a very cool kind of work of art, kind of a more aesthetically pleasing knife than a performance-oriented knife. And that's fine. Um, I mean, I appreciate knives for all kinds of reasons. Uh, you know, aesthetics is one of them. They don't have to be good performers for me to like them. Um, but I couldn't justify myself spending this kind of cash, which is, uh, over 500 bucks on something that, on this, I will say. I couldn't, I just couldn't justify spending that money on, on this knife. Um, but it's very good. Let's take a look at it. There's a couple weird things. Uh, one is we have the lock bar uh, relief cutout right here. 
And there's one on the show side as well. Why the hell is that there? I just, I could, I, that makes zero sense to me. I could not, I can't even imagine why they possibly thought that was a good idea. It It's like a sore spot on the knife. If this was not there, imagine, I mean, it serves no purpose. What? Why? I just, I just don't, it's, it's baffling. It is absolutely baffling. <laughs> it, what? <laughs> I don't understand. You know, the pocket clip's not reversible, so it's got nothing to do with that. Um, I do, I, I am glad they decided to rest the pocket clip on that little ridge there. See, they, they left this ridge right here for the pocket clip to rest on, so that's, that's good. The pocket clip does work good, by the way. Um, but that is just a mystery. That is an absolute mystery. Um, yeah, who knows, man. Let's talk about the action. Um, so this flipper tab, obviously it, it uh, you know, is spring-loaded. So when it's uh, in the upright position, it, there's nothing to snag on your pockets or anything. It's just nice, smooth, nothing poking out at all. When you want to flip it, you grab it, you pull it down, and it be, you know, it comes out a little bit, and you get enough leverage to flick this thing actually really hard. Um, the leverage this thing gives you is amazing. It feels more like you're catapulting the knife out than than it does uh, using the detent. It really feels like you're just yeah, you feels like you're catapulting it out. Um, can I fail it? Let's see. I can, but it's actually kind of hard. Yeah, there we go. You can, but really, you just, you, if you pick it up, even my dad, if he picked this up and flicked it, it would, it would flip. So uh, I wouldn't call that uh, a weak detent at all. Um, it's, it's just, it's a weird feeling. It, it doesn't feel like any other uh, flipper that I've ever, ever felt. It's just different. It feels different. Um, so you flip it. And then in the open position, it just, it folds back in right here. See, it's right in there. Um, so you can get to choke up. You can choke all the way up, right up here, which is awesome. Um, this is such a cool mechanism. Um, you know, it reminds me of a kick stop in a way. It's uh, reminiscent of a kick stop. Um, but in the, but uh, unlike the kick stop, even in the closed position, it's out of the way. You know, with the kick stop in the closed position, you still have a regular flipper tab, and you flip it, and it's gone. But with this one, it's gone in every position. How cool is that, man? That is just, uh, that is genius, man. That is so cool. Um, I wish I had a knife with this same flipper mechanism on a different, uh, on a different design. Um, you know, uh, that's what I wish. Now... It might seem like I'm talking shit about this knife, and I'm not. It's just that I wouldn't spend five hundred over five hundred bucks on it. It's freaking cool, man. But it's not something that I would carry and uh, use at work, or really. Well, I might carry it on the weekends or something. It's just you know, it's just a little big, beefy, and not super practical. Um, now let's look at these uh, these etchings. You can see that it's the exact same finish on the handle as the blade. And if you look down here, it's actually compound ground. See this line right there? That's separating these two grinds. So there's a bit of a thinner grind back here, and it gets thicker up here. And these etchings actually affect your your uh, edge bevel. You can see right down here. You know, uh, it affects the edge bevel. I'm not sure if this will really mess with the cutting performance. But I don't think so. Um, it might make sharpening a little weird, uh, but it's probably not really much of a deal. Um, the blade steel, or uh, the, sorry, the, uh, the blade stock thickness, it's on the thick side, but it's not crazy thick. We got some weird swedges. There's like one swedge back here, and then we got a whoop de doo and then another swedge up here. Very odd blade shape. It's like a it's a sheep's foot, really, but it's a sheep's foot with belly with a, like a weird half harpoon deal. 
I mean, who knows? That is uh, bizarre. Now, we didn't really finish talking about the action. The closing action is very, very smooth. Let it drop on your thumb. Really, really smooth. Very nice. Look how tightly that blade uh, fits in the handle, too. Isn't that cool? It just perfectly fits right down the middle there. The tip right perfectly centered between those two uh, pieces. Or the one piece, actually. It's an integral. It's very well built. And I will say that we seems to have really amped up their production quality in a uh, recent year or two. They're, I mean, they're making some really, really nice stuff, man. I mean, I, I feel like they're almost, uh, at least they're getting to, and probably can get to in the future, uh, Riot level quality. I mean, it seems to me at least that uh, they're on their way for sure. This is amazingly built. I, I, I can't find any fault with the with, with anything, really. You know, it's just that the design's not really for me. But that doesn't mean it's not an amazing knife. This is really cool. Flips amazingly. Drop shut action. Let's measure behind the edge. I'm curious about that. It's going to be kind of weird since we have these ridges. But let's see. Let's take a few measurements. Start right here. 23 thousandths. Let's go right here. 20 thousandths. Let's go up here. 22 thousandths. 22 thousandths. Interesting. So it is compound ground, but it's really not thinner on one side of this than the other. So it's really just for looks, that compound grind, it looks like. Um, yeah, no real difference in thickness behind the edge. You know, 23 thousandths is not super, super thick. It's definitely on the thick side, but it's not like uh, this thing is a, a beast, you know, a, a tank or an axe. It's not bad at all. You know, it, it'll cut for sure. And we'll see in the cut test exactly how well it does cut. Um, so that's about it, man. It's... It's a very unique knife, and I'm really happy I got to try it out. Um, I want to see this flipping mechanism on more knives. I think it's genius, and uh, the fact that it can flick, or I mean, sorry, flip so well and be out of the way and hidden in both closed and open positions is super cool. It's awesome, man. It's like the ultimate flipper. You know, my main complaint with flipper tabs is they're in the way. You can't choke up with them, you know, or unless you go over them, and there's a good you know, area for your finger up of it, you're, you got to be behind it. And that kind of pushes you far away from the edge and makes things generally not good. Uh, at least for me. Blade steel, by the way, 20 CV. Um, there you go. The Wii solid. Please like the video before you head out. I'll see you soon.